Hey, how you doing? I'm on Luma AI uh, Dream Machine, and I'm going to show you how you can now loop things now in Luma AI Dream Machine. You can actually click this little thing, loop here, and what's this going to do? It's going to loop this image. And right now I have an image of a guy riding a, a kind of a, a bike in the desert. So you can add a prompt in there if you want to. And I'm going to add a prompt in here, follow man riding on bike, and it should follow this guy on a bike uh, in the desert. So you don't have to put a prompt in there if the image looks like uh, a bike or something that's supposed to have some kind of movement. It should loop it perfectly. So, you know, you just got to run it and test it out and see how it's going to go. And I'm going to run this. And while it's running, I'm going to show you some other things I've been doing. I've been working on Starbound uh, 2, uh, part 2 of the movie I started. So I've been doing a lot of renders of different uh, things on this motorbike, trying to do uh, different action sequences. It's been working out pretty nicely. Uh, and some hit or miss type things like this one right here. It was a continuation. This is not a loop animation. I try to run this around uh, over five seconds. So you can see it's looking pretty good there. Um, some other things were kind of hit or miss. Uh, this is him riding into the temple. That came out pretty nice. Uh, sometimes uh, the wheels on the bike don't move like this one. It, it came out pretty decent though, so. But again, um, it's kind of hit or miss with uh, Luma AI. You gotta usually use an image reference uh, from Mid Journey or some other AI uh, graphic program. And once you have that image, you kind of like put it into Luma uh, Dream Machine, and then you pretty much render what you have. You can give it a kind of a prompt, but um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I can see they changed the interface a little bit here. You can easily download things here now. Just clicking the download button. It tells you when it was created. And you also can hit the extend button here. And then you can also give it thumbs up, thumbs down like before. But I think they're constantly trying to improve uh, the interface here. Hopefully they add like camera movements in here to make it better um, and simpler for people. Okay, so here's the shot. I looped it. So it's gonna keep looping like that, you know, going the zigzag type way. So you can see the wheels going. So that's not too bad. So, yeah, I mean, you can use this for any kind of like nice shot, establishing shot if a person's on a subway or on a train or uh, flying a plane, you could use this to have a constant loop animation that you could use for, you know, anything. So, but I just want to show you that quick function they added, uh, pretty much, uh, I think today they added it. So, but it's going to allow you to loop animations. Uh, you could do dancing, I guess. If you have somebody dancing, you can have them loop. So I have another image here of a, a, a girl that I'm going to try to make dance. So see how it's going to go. And I'm just going to do dancing. And I'm going to hit loop. And go for it. All right, there we go. Let's see how it came out. And there you go. I got a little cat girl do, doing a little dance. Uh, and that's looping. So you can experiment with this. You could do like little dance videos and <laughs> you, you know, still keep looping like that. So, oh, this loop feature is really nice. So, 
I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell for upcoming videos and take care.